So post-processing parts is a key to what we do here at Re3D Tech. 90% of the parts that we ship out to our customers are black. And they come out of this system, the HP system, and they're white covered, you know, covered in powder. And once we start the post-process, they're gray. You know, how do we get these HP parts from gray to black? For years, probably the first three years, we used a big lobster tank. And that's crazy. We just heated it up and we boiled the parts, turned them black. And it was hard to control that, you know, consistent, deep, dark black color. You know, about a year ago, we got involved with Omega Sonics and uh, it's been a game changer for us. We've probably in the last year done over 150,000 parts through that dye tank system. Internally for our production, uh, typically we're looking at about a half hour cycle for the Omega Sonics dyeing process. Prior to that, it was roughly even, you know, longer by about 15 minutes. So about 45 minutes cycle time when we were doing kind of our uh, piece together method before, it was not very scientific and uh, was not highly repeatable. This puts a highly repeatable process in place uh, to where we know that cycle time down to a T. It has been consistent. The color's been consistent. The, the finish is never better. I come in the back and I look at the parts and I'm like, always say, wow, I can't believe how good that part looks. And that certainly wasn't the case, you know, when we were just using, you know, whatever system we had, you know, a lobster tank, couldn't control the temperature, no water flow. One of the, the specific uh, kind of applications that we were able to really dial in was a part for uh, CAPA compliance. CAPA is a certified auto parts association. Uh, it is designed for approving parts for aftermarket automotive use. And those parts are actually used out in the field for end use production needs. It actually has to comply with traditional automotive standards for color repeatability. And it's actually something that we get audited on pretty regularly. What I love about the Omega Sonics dye tank is that you know the space we we get some crazy big parts through these hp printers and we can easily put those in the in the spacious tank the water flow that's involved in the omega sonics tank is is tremendous you know the parts get turned over you know there's always pockets in all these crazy 3D printed parts that we that we make and the dye just doesn't want to get in there. But with the parts tumbling throughout the process, you know, every nook and cranny, every every blind hole gets fully dyed. We get this beautiful, deep, rich black color on a consistent basis. It's time and temperature. We can control completely the temperature, which is a key. The water flow is a key. Uh, you know, just knowing that we're going to get that perfect part every time, you know, in these production applications that we now are involved in is tremendous. You know, really the Omega Sonics dye tank is a huge game changer for us. The equipment is incredibly easy to learn and operate. And in fact, that's an important part of any piece of new equipment that we bring in house for our manufacturing method. If a component is very difficult to learn, it means that we're disrupting our traditional production cycle and actually slowing things down and losing money. So having a, a component that is easy to use and quick to learn uh, has allowed us to focus on other parts of our business and essentially let this be a plug and play option. We would absolutely recommend the Omega Sonics dye tank to anyone that's getting involved with the HP MJF printing process. The number one reason being is that it's a plug and play solution, as well as a unit that uh, has the repeatability that is typically needed for production, uh, which is why most customers bring in the HP technology to begin with.